In Antarctica, small secluded communities of human scientists live and work on the vast frozen desert. But half a mile down, below the cold cap of rock hard ice, a completely isolated community of microorganisms has now been discovered, living in the body of water known as subglacial Lake Willens. As described in the journal Nature, a team led by researcher Brent Christner of Louisiana State University has identified nearly 4,000 different species, or groups of species, alive deep in the sequestered lagoon. The work, using biochemical analysis and RNA sequencing techniques, has implications for understanding just how Earth prosecutes its global carbon balance. Though it's been known for a few years that Antarctic glaciers and the tops of ice sheets can harbor simple organisms, life has never been observed in this type of habitat before. So deep and so secluded. No, it's just we're not it was a surprising so discovery. Is the front light on? It's about... Whoa! Whoa. Go back, go back. What? To find it, Researchers had to bore through the ice with sterile drilling and sampling technology, while making certain not to contaminate the water beneath, either on the way down or the way back up. Is this a sample of the bottom or was this stuff that got stirred up? The Huillens Ice Stream Subglacial Access Research Drilling Project was funded by grants from the National Science Foundation and the Montana Space Grant Consortium. On the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, the temperature is so cold, it's hard to make the case for surface water or any other material penetrating its way down through almost a mile of solid ice. The organisms living down in the subglacial lake are likely the descendants of those left behind in ancient warmer times, before the thick fabric of ice began to clothe the Antarctic continent. Similar life forms, living in the very deep seas outside Antarctica, depend upon a constant snow of dead and decaying life from above. But these newly found microcreatures under the ice must make their living directly from minerals pulverized by the shifting ice, especially those bearing sulfides and iron, and from carbon and nitrogen bubbling up from sediments on the lake bottom. These organisms apparently feed off their own dead in a tiny ecosystem separated from the vast biosphere of Earth. This could be an analog for subsurface environments on other worlds. Mars, like Antarctica, was once warmer and wet at the surface. Could similar mineral-munching microbes live there now? And there are several worlds in the solar system with subsurface oceans. Beneath Europa, in orbit around Jupiter, it is nearly certain large seas of water are kept liquid as that world flexes and heats due to tidal gravity from Jupiter's enormous mass. Could comparable creatures live there? And Europa is not alone. Its sisters at Jupiter, Callisto and Ganymede, and its tiny cousin Enceladus at Saturn, all likely have subsurface lakes, seas, or full deep oceans. As cold, hard, and unforgiving as Antarctica may be, it's still a tropical paradise compared to the surfaces of those worlds. Finding out each of their life stories will be scientifically and technologically challenging, indeed. For Live Science, I'm Dave Brody.